As the MEA weekend approaches, WCCO is digging into the price of teaching. An exclusive WCCO Education Minnesota survey revealed some educators are shelling up, are shelling out up to a thousand bucks a year of their own money to supply their classrooms. Christian Cordero broke that news last night on our uh, news at 10. And this morning, Christian digging into what else teachers are paying for. This is quite a bit of money out of pocket here. It's a lot of money. We went ahead and broke that data down for you so you can see for yourself. About 1,100 teachers from every corner of the state answered our questions. And most, 41%, said they spend between $250 and $500 on school supplies a year. A third spent more than $500. And 9% said they spend more than 1000 When you think school supplies, you might be thinking pencils, notebooks, crayons, right? And while that is part of the expense, most educators are also buying things like hats, coats, even food. We invited a handful of teachers to sit down for a candid conversation to put those numbers into context. How often do you have to use that arsenal of socks or hats or whatever else throughout the school year? During the winter months, daily. Um, daily. Mm -hmm. There's always at least two or three out of a class of 28. There's almost always two or three kids that don't have something. Melissa Campania teaches in St. Paul and her other colleagues in the room from Oakdale, Apple Valley, and Coon Rapids agreed that they, that they too spend a lot of money on those extras. In our survey, 82% of teachers said they buy clothes and food for their classroom. That overwhelming majority could make you think it's part of the job description. It's not. So why do they do it? you're able to provide things that they don't expect of you as a teacher when you can give them tennis shoes and their Under Armour tennis shoes or you know you can provide them an up-and-coming t-shirt or whatever it might be you now increase their learning in the classroom because they can trust you. Some districts give stipends to their teachers. The ones we spoke with got between $40 and $200, either from the district or from the PTO, the parent-teacher organization. Some rely on their community to donate or make things like hats for their students. But our survey shows, for the most part, this responsibility is falling solely on the teacher spending this much money. And if you rely on the PTO, obviously it's uh, there, there's an inherent bias then towards communities that have more money for sure. or more organized mm -hmm. parents or mm -hmm. anything like that. And we don't want that, obviously. Right. It's, it's a tough one. Parents, I know we get asked to help, uh, you know, both of our kids are in middle school mm -hmm. and periodically throughout the year you get emails that say like, hey, can you send in some Kleenex or hand sanitizer right. or whatever? Yeah. Those two We're happy are really to do big it, ones, you know? for yeah. sure. And if, so if you're going to talk about ways you can help, because we are going to dig into that later tonight at five o'clock but Kleenex and hand sanitizers if you can donate that they yeah. are always in need kids get sick and right? maybe just uh, ask your child's teacher do you need anything yeah. just sure. that simple Very question good. can make a big difference good stuff Christian thank Thanks. you mm -hmm.